Antibody tests are being discussed in places like Germany and the U.S. as a way for allowing those countries to get back to work. Now, those tests are being used in a very different way here in Taiwan. Now, in today's Taiwan Explained, I'm going to tell you about what antibody tests can and cannot tell us. Okay, you have 60 seconds. Are you ready, Andrew? I think so. All right, go. All right, first of all, antibody tests cannot detect an early infection of COVID-19, but they can tell you who's had it and roughly when. That's because different antibodies appear at different times. For example, a general one appears when you first get sick. Another antibody, which can recognize and fight COVID-19, doesn't peak until about 28 days. Now, when they tested personnel on board the Taiwanese Navy ship, this is what they found. Several people on board tested negative for COVID-19, but they had antibodies suggesting an earlier wave of infection on that ship. Now, scientists believe that people with antibodies probably have immunity, but they don't know for how long. Now, the million dollar question is, can these tests help countries to get back to work? Now, the health minister says that there is a scientific basis for using antibody tests to help workers return to work, but there just aren't enough quality tests available for everyone. The minister also says it's not useful to do a lot of antibody testing in Taiwan because the number of cases is too low. Perfect, Andrew. <laughs> Great job. That's a you know, very complicated subject. Very complicated. And I think most people are wondering is how useful will these be to open up societies? What are the current obstacles? Can you tell us about that? Yeah. So first of all, I think it's important to reiterate that these tests uh, that show antibodies, uh, they don't necessarily tell you how long people are going to be immune Okay. to COVID-19. Mm. Now, the second thing is, is that people are talking about herd immunity. So the idea is that the more people that have the antibodies, the more that they can slow the spread of the disease because the virus doesn't have anywhere to go. Mm -hmm. Now, right now, initial testing shows that in places like Wuhan and in some places in the U.S., the, uh, only about 3% of the population has antibodies. But in order for herd immunity to take place, you need closer to 60%, some experts are saying. Now, I also mentioned tests. They're having problems with test kits, especially rapid test kits. Uh, for example, the UK ordered millions of these test kits from China only to discover that they're not accurate enough to use. Uh, now, lab tests are much better, um, but like, for example, with the Taiwan Navy tests, they sent them to three different labs to make sure that they would be able to get accurate results. Okay, so we still have a long way to go before all this works out for us. Yes. But thank you, Andrew. Yeah, thank you're you welcome. for that. That's our Taiwan Explained for the week.